Hey guys, it's Redox. Welcome back to some more Team Fight Tactics video. Thanks for joining me here once again, guys. And we're gonna go more in depth on the um, leveling system of your little legend or your avatar. And we're gonna talk about the gold costs for all the champions in the game. So in each Team Fight Tactics match, your little avatar, your little legend is gonna start from a base level of one with zero experience points. And to progress from level one to two to three and so on up to level 10, you need to acquire experience points and you need to hit the required amount to level up. If you don't do that, you're stuck in that level and you won't be able to put more chess pieces on the board. There are two ways you can gain experience for your little legend in each team fight tactics match. The first way is automatic. So at the start of each round in a team fight tactics game, you're automatically going to get one experience point towards your leveling progression. From round one to round two, your little legend will automatically gain one experience point. And from round two to round three, you'll get another experience point. From round three to round four, another one, and so on. As long as the game goes on, your character will consistently gain one experience point towards his leveling system and up to level 10. Because keep in mind, once again, you hit the level 10, it's the max level in the game, and you won't be able to level up further. The second way you can get experience points to level up your little legend in a team fight tactics match is by spending gold. So gold is the income source in the game, just like in Summoner's Rift or in other auto chess games. You're gonna use gold to purchase four experience points toward your character's level progression. So now I'm gonna show you guys this chart right here which shows the XP required per level to level up your little legend. Now, this chart is, an, is based off the auto chess games and it may not be completely accurate with the final version of Teamfight Tactics, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very, very similar or exactly the same. So I'm gonna use this as an example. So on this chart, we can see from level one to level two, we require one experience point to hit level two, which means you can either spend gold, yes, to get four experience points and level up, or you can just wait until the next round and get the automatic one experience point towards your character and your little legend will, will go from level one to two. And it's the same thing from two to three, you require only one experience point. From three to four, it's two experience points. From four to five, it's four experience points. From five to six, it's eight experience points and so on. So for example, if I wanted to go from level six to level seven on my little legend, I need to gain a total of 16 experience points. And let's say I was sitting at zero experience points at level six and I wanted to hit level seven right away and I had the right amount of gold. It would cost me a total of 15 gold to go from level six to seven because 16 divided by four experience points is three. So it's five gold times three, which is 15 gold as each five gold purchase on your character leveling progression is going to give you four experience points. So always keep that in mind. That's the golden rule. Five gold will give you four experience points toward your little legend. Now remember, getting to a higher level on your avatar or your little legend is going to allow you to roll or have a chance of finding a higher costing champion. And once again, keep in mind guys, higher costing champions are stronger than cheaper costing champions. The cheapest champions cost one gold. And these champions are Darius, Fiora, Garen, Graves, Cassidan, Kha'Zix, Lissandra, Mordkaiser, Nidalee, Tristana, Vayne, and Warwick. The next tier are the two gold costing champions. These champions are Aatrox, Ari, Blitzcrank, Braum, Elise, Lucian, Lulu, Pike, Rek'Sai, Shen, Varus, Volibear, and Zed. The next tier is the three gold costing champions. These champions are Ash, Evelyn, Gangplank, Katarina, Cannon, Morgana, Poppy, Rangar, Shivana, and Vigar. Now these are the four gold costing champions. These champions are Akali, Aurelian Soul, Brand, Cho'Gath, Draven, Nar, Kindred, Leona, and Sejuani. Finally, these are the most expensive champions in the game, and these are the five gold costing champions. These champions are Anivia, Karthus, Kale, Misfortune, Swain, and lastly, good old Yasuo. Remember, the higher level your avatar or your little legend is in a teamfight tactics match, the better chance, the higher chance to find the more expensive costing champions like the four or five gold costing champions. And these champions are gonna be stronger because they're more expensive. They're also much more rare to find. From when your avatar hits level five is when you actually start to even find the four gold costing champions. Before level five, your avatar 
won't even be able to search for these four gold costing champions. And from level eight is when you can find the most expensive champions, which are the five gold costing champions. So until you actually hit level five or eight, you can't even find the four gold champions and the five gold costing champions. Once again, guys, thanks for watching my videos. I really do appreciate that you guys are checking out my channel and checking out all my Teamfight Tactics videos because I'll be coming out with more. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and remember to comment and like as well because all of those things are much appreciated. And have a good day, everyone.